It was a hundred years ago we set up the first surf life savings cl clubs here in New Zealand. And one of our original lifeguards was June McGregor. She ran the surf life saving patrol in Gisborne while the men were away at war. Then when they came back and turfed her out, she started up one of the first clubs just for women. Now she's 88 and retired, but as Jill Higgins found, she's still, she is still ready to give things a go. It's been a good while since June's been out surf life-saving. And she's a bit shaky getting into the rescue boat. It's an experience that I've never had before. <laughs> But she's probably saved more lives than these two lifeguards put together. It's a great feeling. And she did it the hard way. It was a real, real old-fashioned, uh, heavy, heavy belt that they had in those days. So you'd be running out with the Down rope the coming wheel. behind you, and there'd be a linesman as well? Yes, the linesman put it out over their heads. She thinks rescue by boat is a much better deal. You had this sort of thing, it would be marvellous for people, yes. I don't know about when you're putting the people into the IRB though, when, when they're rescuing them. Well, so you just have to grab any part of them that you can. The need for surf lifesavers hasn't gone away. People take risks now, they're dead. just as they did back then. Our drowning rate was shockingly high this summer, and it would have been higher still if it had not been for the lifesavers. And one blustery day, June made her mark rescuing five scout leaders at Wainui Beach. Uh, there was a Catholic priest and my sister and somebody else were on the reel. And uh, I went out as the Beltman and <coughs> huge big seas, higher than this roof. Every time I came up, the down came a wave and put me down to the bottom and up I'd come again. And the last man, I just couldn't get to him. And I can remember saying to myself, God, please help me. And the next thing I had him. Well, to me, she's like this ex-lifeguard and local reporter action. was very impressed. I can't help but think if a man had done it, would there have been a bravery award? To me, the word, you know, heroic clearly comes to mind. No, no. It was what I'd been used to, and I was only doing what anybody else would have done. But you but... saved five lives. Oh, no, it was just something that, that we did. And now, despite a few aches and pains... It's the old knees that are no good. <laughs> swimming is something she still does, 20 lengths at a time. I used to come every day, but I have other commitments now, so I come about three times a week. Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> well, to me, she's like a torchbearer for women in life saving, because when she did what she did back in the 40s, you know, it was the men's thing. Just as she breaks the water with her strokes, so she broke the rules back then. During the war years, shall we say, that we sort of really came into our own and we just sort of used to do all the rescues and things because there was nobody else there. But then the men returned. The big splash of the two-day programme is the surf race when 140 men hit the water at once. And when they came back, the thing was that uh, they wanted to be able to swear and and carry on and I suppose drink. So that's when they decided they didn't want a girls in the club. So June starting that own club, I mean, that really meant that women could be included in surf life saving. Well, the fact she ran, you know, cre created a, a surf club for women. I mean, I think that's, that's remarkable. And the way she ran it, encouraging women to be part of this really special thing. And it's something that, um, as June's proven, that women can do as well as men. So she was a cut quite a figure in those days. You know, a young woman, an Amazon. She looks so strong and athletic and capable. June was a coach too, and her teams of girls won prize after prize. But she lost track of most of her memorabilia until now. Oh, the old wheels and everything. Oh, aren't they great? Wherever did you find these? They'd been collecting dust in a life-saving office. Oh. You remember that? Goodness me. Oh, that's certainly going back. Oh, how lovely Gisborne ladies. Yes, it's amazing. I've never seen... No, I don't remember. I've forgotten about them. How we change. <laughs> but get her in the pool and you can see her love of water is just the same. So you could still probably give some of the lifeguards a run for their money? 
Oh, no, not now. <laughs> I'd rather just be there to enjoy their company. Here it comes with <laughs> nothing unusual. Nice to meet you. Don't you just love that June save five lives in one day and, I don't know, just something that we did. Good on you, June.